So what should we do this weekend? Well, let's just say you shouldn't plan anything because Rob has a little surprise for you. Well, for all of us. Yeah, you really hit the boyfriend jackpot. <laughs> Rob's smart, he's handsome. And he's and rich. <laughs> hey Paige, can I uh, talk to you for a sec? Uh, Go away, Adam. Yeah, she doesn't want to talk to you. Okay, sorry. Uh, wait, it's okay, what's up? I just wanted to give you this. It's just a little something that I drew. An orchid. Mm -hmm. But how'd you know orchids are my favorite flower? It wasn't that hard to guess. You wear them all the time, just like the ring you have on right now. Wow, I, I don't know what to say. This is so lame. She doesn't want some dumb drawing. Yeah, you should really get out of here before her boyfriend gets here. Hey, babe. <laughs> I got you something. You did? Yep. Roses, your favorite. Oh, um. I better get going. I guess I should just throw this away. No, I'll keep it. Thanks. What was that about? It's just a drawing he made me. You don't have to keep it because you feel bad for him. Everybody knows how much of a loser he is. Yeah, I heard <laughs> his family lives in a trailer park. Ew! Give it to me. I'll throw it away for you. No, um, that's all right. I'll, I'll keep it. Mm. Uh, you know, so that I can throw it away when he's not around. Oh, got you. So he doesn't try to talk to you again. Anyway, I gotta go. But let's meet by my car after class. I've got another surprise for you. Sounds good. Bye. You are so lucky he got you roses. I know, I wish I had a guy like him. <laughs> yeah. He is pretty great. So what do you think the surprise is? Whatever. Sorry. Did you even hear what I said? Um. Oh, shoot, I, I don't want to be late for class. I'll see you girls after school. Live music at Sal's restaurant. So, does Rob have a brother or cousin? Or anyone that's like him? <laughs> um, I, I don't know, I can ask. Paige! Ugh, not him again. He's so annoying. Are you into rock and roll at all? Yeah, I love rock, why? I thought so. I saw the Beatles sticker on your backpack. Anyway, do you have plans tonight? I'm playing at Sal's and would love for you to come. You could even bring your friends. We actually have plans, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> and even if we didn't, do you ever think girls like us would end up at a dump like Sal's? Oh, sorry, I guess I don't know what I was thinking. What do we have here? Rob, give that back to me. Oh, so you're playing at Sal's tonight? Sounds pretty pathetic, let me guess. You're trying to get these girls to go so you don't look like such a loser when no one comes to hear you play? Uh, Rob, just leave them alone. Let's go. Come I hate to break it to you, but we already have plans tonight. Because I got us four front row tickets to the big hip hop concert. Yeah! <laughs> I'm so excited. I heard Drake's going to be there. <laughs> yep, because I know how much my babe loves hip hop. Not some dumb wannabe rock musician. Rob, I can't believe you did that. Whatever. Let's go. Oh, and just a little advice. If you ever want to score a hot girl like Paige, you need a lot more than some cheap skateboard. You gotta have an expensive car, like my Porsche. See you later, loser. Let's go, babe. Wait. This isn't where the concert is. I figured we could make a quick stop to watch Adam play. You know, so we can see how bad he is. So we can all make fun of him. <laughs> what? But why would we do that? I love that idea. <laughs> yeah, come on, let's go. See? Let's go. Make it better, 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 yeah, yeah. Na, 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 na. <laughs> What kind of a lame song is that? <laughs> Are you kidding? I love that song. Great job, Adam. 
Since when did you start caring about rock music? I... Never mind. Could you sing another song, Adam? Okay. I hope you like this one because my custom wrote it for you, Paige. <laughs> Every time I see you, I add more to this song. Just like a growing orchid, pretty things take long. Letters on the page can't show. <laughs> Stop, stop. That has to be the cringiest song I've ever heard. It's so painful, none of us can take it anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. For real. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? I thought it was really nice. <laughs> yeah, right. The truth is, Adam, we only came here to see how pathetic you are. Great job embarrassing yourself. Let's go, babe. I said let's go, babe. You know what? I don't want to go. I'd rather stay. What? You can't be serious. You want to listen to this loser play some cringy music when I got us four front row tickets to the hottest concert of the year? If you knew anything about me, Rob, you know that I didn't even like hip hop. <gasps> huh? What are you talking about? She likes the Beatles. Exactly. If you knew anything about me, you know the first song Adam played was Hey Jude. It's one of my favorite songs of all time. I've never cared about hip-hop. Well, okay. What am I supposed to do with these then? You know how much money I spent on them? Not everything is about money, Rob. We still don't get it. <laughs> Come on. Don't be ridiculous. Yeah, Paige, let's just go to the concert. It'll be way better than hanging around here, that's for sure. I'm good, thanks. Then how are you gonna get home? On a skateboard? <laughs> <laughs> If it means avoiding riding home in your Porsche, then yes. Fine. Well, I'm still going to go to the concert. Do you girls want to stay here or come with me? Are you kidding? We're not missing Drake. Yeah, we're going with you. Have fun at this dump with Skater Boy. I will, thanks. And don't come crawling back to me later when he's still a deadbeat musician and I'm making six figures. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like that's all my fault. I completely understand if you want to leave. No, it's my fault. I should have ended things with him a long time ago. I do have one favor to ask, though. Sure. <laughs> Anything. Would you mind singing that song you made for me again? I really liked it. Of course. I'd love to. Every time I see you, I add more to this song. Just like an orchid growing pretty thin. Paige continues to watch Adam sing the song that he wrote for her. As time goes on, she keeps supporting him no matter where he performs. Adam keeps practicing and getting better and better. Eventually, more people start to show up. And then a lot more people. One night, he even ends up getting signed to a major record label. Over time, Adam ends up becoming one of the most popular artists in the world. He consistently lands on the top of the charts and is on the front cover of magazines everywhere. And then one day, Paige happens to run into Rob again. Wait, Paige? Oh, hello Rob. You look amazing. I haven't seen you since high school. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> Still giving up roses, I see. Oh. Yeah, these are for... Hey! Paige? Hey, Stacy. <laughs> wow, I didn't expect you two to end up together, but it makes sense. I heard what happened with Adam. <laughs> it's crazy how much he blew up. Who would have thought? I know, right? <laughs> 
Anyways, it was good seeing you guys. Let me guess. After he got famous, he tossed you aside like a bad habit? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he, uh... Hey, sweetheart. Sorry I'm late. I got a little tied up making you something for our anniversary. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, my gosh. Adam, I can't believe how famous you got. Do you mind if I get a pic? Stop. That's embarrassing. What? Why? Do you mind? No, not at all. An orchid! Yeah. Not sure if you remember back in high school. Are you kidding? How could I forget? You know, I still carry it around with me every day. <laughs> wow. And I thought you musicians made money. I guess not if you're getting her another drawing for your anniversary. Here, babe. I got you real flowers. Your favorite. <laughs> I didn't just get her a drawing. I got you this too. Oh my gosh, is this a diamond, diamond orchid? <laughs> yeah. Wow, it, it's, it's so beautiful. I, thank you so much. No, thank you for believing in me when no one else did. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you too. You ready to go? Yeah. Oh, just a little advice. If you ever want to score a hot girl like Paige, pay attention to the small details. They matter more than the big things. Let's go, love. You still don't drive a Porsche. Oh, you're right. I don't. I drive a Rolls Royce. Bye-bye, Adam. Do you want to come to my recital after school tomorrow? Yeah, I'm down. I don't have any plans. Cool. Look, there's Felicia, and it looks like she has another new bag. When your family's rich, it's easy to have nice things. I heard they have a huge mansion in Orange County. Yeah, and supposedly she's throwing a holiday party there this weekend. Imagine how cool it'd be if we got to go to it. <laughs> As if that ever happened. Rich girls like her don't hang out with broke losers like us. But hey, at least we have each other, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Ben just walked in. Look how cute he looks. Of course he'd go up to Felicia. Seems like she's inviting him to her party. Yeah, you got it. Oh my gosh, he's coming. <laughs> <laughs> How's he ever gonna know who you are if you hide every time he walks by? I don't know. One day I'm gonna talk to him. When? You've been saying that since freshman year. And now we're graduating in a few months. You know Ben's moving to go to UC Davis this summer, right? I know. I just get so nervous to talk to him here. It'd be easier if I saw him out somewhere, like... Felicia's party! <laughs> As if she'd ever invite us. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I guess there's only one way to find out. Hey, Felicia. Um, hi. <laughs> I'm Rachel. We had third period chemistry together last year. Um. <laughs> and we both went to Lincoln Middle School. Oh, and there was this one year where we both went to Earhart Elementary, but I kind of hey, This party's gonna be lit. <laughs> Everyone I've talked to said they're coming. I know, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, could you just give me one second? So, is there something that you need? Well, actually, I wanted to ask you about your party. You see, my friend Heather and I... Hi. We were wondering if we could come. <laughs> Is that a Michael Kors bag? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Why? Ew, no one wears Michael Kors anymore. Yeah, they're literally on clearance racks everywhere. Okay, so? I don't see anything wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> Is your friend for real right now? Uh, no, <laughs> she's just joking around. Oh, good, because anyone who can't see what's wrong with wearing a Michael Kors definitely isn't coming to my party. 
Let's go, girls. Wait, so does this mean we can actually come? You still want to go after how they just treated me? Way to have my back. Hold on, Heather! Hey, can you please stop? Heather! Heather! Just because they have money and can afford nice stuff that somehow makes them better than me? No, of course not. Can you just calm down for a second? Let's talk about this. Talk about what? How they just made me feel completely worthless because of my bag? I'm so sorry. You didn't deserve that. I tried to tell you. There's no way Felicia was going to invite us. But, of course, you don't listen. Technically, she didn't say we were not invited. You can't be serious. You still want to go to that dumb party after everything that just happened? No. You're right. Just forget about it. <laughs> I was thinking we could all just run up to the party together. You guys down? Actually, man, I'm going with my girl. Yeah, same. She, she got us matching outfits and everything. Why did you come with Jess? Bro, oh, we, we stopped talking last week. Oh, that's right. It's fine. I'll just, I don't know, go solo. Hey, don't trip. Everybody who's anybody is going to be at that party. I'm sure you'll find someone new. Yeah. Well, I hope so. I mean, this is my last chance before I move to NorCal. I guess we'll see. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my gosh, did you just hear what Ben said? This could be my last chance to talk to him. We have to go. Please, please, please. You know how important this is to me. Please, please. <sighs> the situations you get me into. You're such a great friend. I didn't say yes yet. How are you even planning on getting in? I don't know, but I'm sure I'll find a way. Hey, you girls like designer purses? No, we're good. Please just leave us alone. What kind of designer? It doesn't matter. We are not about to buy some stolen bags of a stranger. Oh, they're not stolen. They're just fake. <laughs> yeah, like that's any better. They look 100% real. No one will be able to tell the difference. I got Louis and Gucci. No thanks. Come on, let's go. Uh, are you sure no one would be able to know? Yeah. Unless you work in the store or something. My wife wears these all the time. When someone asks her about it, she tells them it's a limited edition release for the runway collection. No one asks another question. <laughs> I mean, look at how real it looks. Rachel, you're not seriously thinking about buying a fake bag. I don't know. How much is it? Usually $200. Oh. But I'm in need of cash, so this is your lucky day. I can sell it to you for 100 Do not do it. Seriously, who are you trying to impress? Don't be mad at me. <sighs> I only have 60 you know what, that's fine. <laughs> Does it come with a shopping bag or anything? <laughs> what do you think, this is Rodeo Drive or something? <laughs> Please don't be mad. So, has anyone said anything? Are you kidding? I've already gotten like six compliments. <laughs> hey, love your purse. Thank you. Make that seven. <laughs> We can sit here. I'm gonna grab a drink. Want anything? I'm good, thanks. Okay. I've never seen that bag before. Oh, it's because it's a uh, limited release. 
from the Runway Collection. You shop the Runway Collection? Which store did you get it from? Uh, the Louis Vuitton store? <laughs> Obviously. Which one? Uh, the one on Rodeo Drive. That's where I go. You must know Michael then. He manages all the runway pieces. Michael. Yes, of course, Michael. Such a nice guy. <laughs> anyway, I better get going. It was nice. Do you want to sit with us? What? Seriously? <laughs> wow. You mean like in this chair? With all of you? Would it be okay if Heather comes too? Hmm, sorry. There's only room for one. Oh. So, are you sitting with us or not? Uh... I just feel bad leaving my friend by herself. Hey, ladies. Hey, Ben. Hey, I'm excited to go to your party tonight. I'm excited for you to be there. <laughs> oh, hi. I'm Ben. Rachel. 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 Huh? You're probably hurting Ben's hand. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. <laughs> Don't sweat it. It's nice to meet you, Rachel. It's nice to meet you too. Rachel was actually about to have lunch with us. You should join too. Oh, yeah, I would. But um, <laughs> there's only one chair. That's all right. We can make room for one more. Pull up a chair. Okay. Yeah, give me, give me a minute. Well? Uh... So, it looks like someone has a crush on Ben. Oh no, was it that obvious? You know, he's coming to my party tonight. Maybe you could try talking to him there. Wait, does that mean that I'm invited? Here you go. I can't believe it. Thank you so much. I don't even know what to say. Are plus ones allowed? Ugh, don't tell me you plan on bringing Michael Kors, girl. Well, she has been my best friend since elementary school. I'd feel really bad for ditching her. <sighs> All right, fine, I guess. I'll put her on the list. Thanks. Now I just have to figure out what I'm gonna wear. Oh, well, we're all going to the plaza after school to go shopping if you wanna come. I would, but I actually have to go do something with Heather. Well, then, what are you gonna wear? Um, I'll probably just find something in my closet. <gasps> As in, wear the same thing twice? <laughs> Good one. I thought you were being serious for a second. <laughs> No, <laughs> I was just playing, joking, kidding. Of course I'm gonna get something new. Now that I think about it, I would love to come. I'm sure Heather wouldn't mind. Okay, I'm back. What'd I miss? Well, Rachel just confirmed that she's coming to the party tonight. Oh, you are? That's great. Maybe we can hang out. I like that. Would you like to try that on? Yes, please. Okay, right this way. Thanks. Hey. Thanks for missing our signal. Oh, I am so sorry about that. But at least we gotta go to the party now. Oh, I'm so excited. Don't be that way, please. You know how important this is to me. For the first time in my life, Ben knows I exist. Fine. Where are you? 
Oh, I'm at Rosini's at the plaza. Isn't this dress so cute? I was just about to try it on. You know everything that costs a fortune, right? Really? I haven't even looked at the price tag yet. Oh my gosh, you're right. Rachel? I gotta go, I'll call you later, okay? Bye. Wait, I was gonna ask. Hey, what's up? How'd it fit? Oh, it's uh, not really my style. No worries. You should try this one, it's so cute. Uh, how much is it? I don't know. <laughs> I never even look at the price tags, to be honest. Wow, it's cheap. $240? Yeah. What's the big deal? I mean, you wear a Louis Vuitton bag. I'm sure you can afford this. Oh, yeah. I meant, uh, I thought it'd be so much more. <laughs> you know, I just remembered I have a dress at home that I've only worn once and no one has even seen me in it. So I'll probably just go with that one. You're really gonna wear a dress that you've worn before to my party? Uh, yeah, you're right. I don't know what I was thinking. I'll just go with this one. Hmm. Thanks. Don't sweat it. That's what friends are for. <laughs> What's up with you and Rachel? You know, she really likes Ben, right? And it seems like he kind of likes her too. Yeah, are you sure you would be friends with her? Friends? <laughs> I'm just having a little fun with her. That's all. Oh. <laughs> Rachel, let's talk about shoes. <laughs> this neighborhood is so nice. Are you sure I'm gonna be able to get in? I mean, I didn't get an invitation. Yeah, you're totally good. Felicia confirmed. She put you on the list. Okay. If you say so. Oh, you left your tag on. No, don't do that! $240?! Are you crazy?! Why else do you think I kept the tag on? I'm gonna return it after the party. You know you're not supposed to return something after you've worn it. I know, but what else was I supposed to do? Felicia told me to buy the dress, and I didn't want to make it seem like I don't have any money. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know who you're becoming anymore. Rach, you shouldn't try to be someone you're not. Especially to try and impress people that don't even care about you. Felicia cares about me. Even today at the store, she called me her friend. Why are you rolling your eyes? Don't be jealous. Jealous? Is that what you think this is about? Trust me. I'm not jealous. I don't want to argue with you right now. Felicia just asked where I am. Come on, let's go. Of course. We wouldn't want to leave Felicia waiting. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rachel. My friend Heather and I are on the list. Rachel. Oh, here you are. Heather. Heather, no, I don't see a Heather. Are you sure? Felicia confirmed she added her. Yep, I'm sure. And if she's not on the list, unfortunately she can't come in. See, I told you this was gonna happen. I'm sure it was just an honest mistake. Let me try calling her. Your call has been forwarded uh, to an automatic Her voice phone is off. System. You know what? Let me just run inside real quick to find her and have her come get you. You want me to wait out here? By myself? It'll just be for a second. I promise I'll be right back. Trust me. Excuse me. Sorry, excuse me. Hey, Rachel, right? Oh, hey, Ben. Hey. Why were you standing by yourself? Oh, I'm kind of fifth wheel in it right now. My friends, they both brought their girls, so. Oh, and they're matching. That's so cute. Right? Kind of wish I had someone to match with, but. <laughs> uh... Oh, 
You can take it. No, that's all right. It can wait. Okay. So, uh, you see Davis, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like Rachel's trying to steal your guy. <laughs> like that would ever happen. It's almost time to teach her a lesson. You know, it's crazy this is the first time we're talking. I just, I don't know, I feel like I've known you my whole life. <laughs> yeah? Well, I feel the same way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shoot, I've gotta get my friend. Oh, Have you seen Rachel? It's so good to see you. I told you that dress looked good on you. Thanks. Hey, so Heather's outside. For some reason, she wasn't on the list. I was wondering if you can get her in. Oh, <laughs> whoops, I must have forgot. I'll go get her. Thanks. <laughs> oh my gosh, Michael! <gasps> How are you? Good. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks again for inviting me to your party. Oh my god, don't sweat it. <laughs> hey, you know my friend Rachel, right? She said she shops with you at the Louis Vuitton store. Oh. No, I don't think so. What? You don't know who she is? But I thought you said you knew Michael. You know, I meant the other Michael. Yes, that's who I shop with. I guess it's a common name. <laughs> <laughs> I know, there's like four of us all in the same district. Well, I'm really glad Mike chose taking good care of you. He's really great. Yeah, he is. Uh, do you need to get that? Uh, no, that's okay. It sounds important. Yeah, you should really check. Uh, okay. Well, I've never seen that bag before. You haven't? But she said she got it from the runway collection. No, I'm pretty sure I would recognize it. Where did you get this from? Uh, you know, now that I think about it, this one was a uh, gift. Yeah, sometimes I get my bags confused. Well, I hate to break it to you, but whoever got you that bag gave you a fake. <gasps> what? No, that can't be possible. I'm afraid so. Scammers sell them on the street all the time for a hundred bucks. <laughs> You're seriously wearing a fake Louis Vuitton bag? Who does that? Somebody who wants to pretend that they're rich but doesn't have any actual money. That's who. No, you don't understand. Well, enough with the lies. Oh. Hey, everyone. My friend Michael here works at the Louis Vuitton store and he just confirmed that Rachel's bag is fake. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put you on the spot. Oh, no, you've done nothing wrong. You're not the one prancing around pretending to be someone that you're not. Hey, Felicia. Come on, this really isn't necessary. Yes, it is. She needs to be taught a lesson. You know what? I'll just leave, okay? Wait. Is that? Whoops. I must have accidentally left the tag on. Do not tell me you plan on returning that dress after you wore it. What? No. Oh, yeah? All right, well then you wouldn't mind if- No, I don't do that. <laughs> So you are planning on returning it. <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Go on and leave. You clearly don't belong here. Oh, and by the way, I didn't forget to put Michael Kors girl on the list. I left her off on purpose. what just happened in there. It was a total setup. What are you talking about? She invited her friend from the Louis Vuitton store so that she could expose my fake bag. And then she pulled out my tag in front of everyone. She basically made a total fool out of me. And the worst part is, she did it in front of Ben. I tried to warn you. She's not your friend. You were right. 
I never should have gotten this dumb bag or this expensive dress. And I never should have pretended to be someone that I wasn't, especially to try to impress someone who doesn't even care about me. I'm so sorry. I promise to never put anyone before you again. Can you please forgive me? I forgive you. <laughs> Thanks. You're such a great friend. I am honestly so lucky to have you. <laughs> That's probably the first thing you've been right about in a while. <laughs> Rachel! Hey, wait up. Ben? Hey. Why did you leave the party? Come on. You really think I want to be there after what she just did? I'd much rather be here. With you. Really? Yeah. You still want to talk to me even after finding out yeah, that- Your bag's fake. Or you're, you're planning on returning your dress? Who cares? None of that matters to me. Look. I'm planning on returning this too. You are? Yeah. I only bought it for this dumb party. <laughs> and I'm really regretting it now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I never would have expected that. Yeah. Um, um, you want to get out of here? I don't know, maybe grab a bite to eat? Really? Yeah. Actually, I promised my friend I was going to hang out with her. Oh, okay. Maybe another time? That sounds great. <laughs> maybe we can return our clothes together. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> uh, like, Tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, you have a good night. You too. Thanks. Bye. Oh, Angie! I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> So why'd you leave the party early? Yeah, we were looking for you. Let's just say I met someone. Hey boys, mind if we sit with you? Um, actually there's not enough room, sorry. Um, I'm sure you guys can pull up one more chair, right? Oh, okay. What I meant to say, it... Actually, Rachel and Heather are gonna sit here. Hey girls, yeah. have a seat. Are you kidding me? You'd rather sit with her over me? Yep. I'm sure you girls can find a seat somewhere else. Bye. <laughs> Don't even think about being invited to any more of my future parties. You'll be standing outside like Michael Kors girl over here was. <laughs> well, you don't have to worry about that. Because none of us would ever come to one of your parties again. Mm-mm. This is ridiculous. Let's go, girls. Never again. <laughs> <laughs> Look, since Rachel was exposed for having a fake bag, now she carries Michael Kors' purse around too. <laughs> <laughs> I happen to like my bag. Thank you very much. You know, I can't believe you choose a girl who wears a fake bag over me. Big mistake. You know what? I'd rather be with someone that has a fake bag over someone that is a fake friend. <gasps> And as Heather said, bye, Felicia. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having our backs. Of course. I mean, hey, that's what real friends are for, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Come on, let's eat. Hey, man, she just ran away. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you react? <laughs> the silence says it all. You guys are so funny. <laughs> anyway, we better get going. Yeah, we'll see you guys later. Oh, oh wait, wait, Jasmine. Uh, would you want to go to the movies with me tomorrow night? Um, I'll think about it. All right. Dude, why didn't you say anything? You made them leave. I didn't have much to say. But they still thought it was funny. I don't understand. Why are you always so quiet? What do you mean? There's a lot of advantages to being quiet. Oh yeah? Like what? Uh... 
Come with me. Brittany's having a kickback at her parents' beach house on Saturday. You want to go? We can't go to that. We have football practice. It's fine. We'll tell the coach that we're looking for colleges or something over the weekend. He'll never know. You down? I mean, who's he think he is anyway, telling us, oh, you need to run laps on the weekend. When I see him, I'm going to tell him that, uh, coach, uh, what are you uh, doing here? Never mind me. Go on to finish what you were saying. When you see me, you're going to tell me what? Uh, what a great coach you are. That's all I wanted to say. Yeah, sure. I heard everything. Not only are you coming to practice now, but you'll be running double laps. What? You can't give us double laps. What do you mean, us? Trevor didn't say anything. I'm only talking about you. On the field, now. Oh, I was giving you the eye. I literally he looked right so at you. so many cheeks. I, 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 you could have like, turned my head. I was like, stop pointing at my So you see, being quiet keeps you out of trouble. OK, but that's one situation. There's no other perks to being quiet. Not true. I don't understand. What's the big deal about me going out with the boys tomorrow? Follow me. You don't see a problem with you spending our anniversary with your friends? That makes me feel like I'm just... You're overreacting again. I swear you always do this. I told you that on Sunday. You I... didn't let me finish. You always talk over me, and you never give me a chance to say anything. I just wish you were a better listener. <sighs> Jen, wait. Reason number two, when you're quiet, you're a good listener. <laughs> Girls appreciate a good listener. All right, so there might be two small advantages. Big deal. There's more than that. Watch. Who can tell us the most important founding father of America? Alex. That's an easy one. George W. Bush. <laughs> Did you mean George Washington? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, I can't believe he said George Bush. <laughs> yeah, well, being quiet helps you avoid saying dumb things. Man, I can't even argue with you on that one. Hey, can we get your guys' opinion on something? Yeah, sure. What's up? Michelle and I can't agree. Who do you think is hotter, David Dobrik or Mr. Beast? Um... I say Mr. Beast. What? No. He's a gamer. Exactly. Gamers are hot. David Dobrik turned down Madison Beer. He's way hotter than Mr. Beast. Uh... Yeah, if... This is kind of an awkward question. Look, if I had to choose, I'd say... Mr. Beast. Told you. Dude, why'd you leave me hanging over here? That was so uncomfortable. Yeah, well, when you're quiet, you can sneak out of awkward conversations without anybody noticing. That's another benefit. I didn't even think about that. Oh, hey, uh, don't forget to let me know about the movies. Uh, listen, about that. Yes, you want to go? No, that's not what I was going to say. Do you want to tell him or should I? I'm actually going to the movies with Kevin. What? With Kevin? Dude, why didn't you say anything? Don't get mad at him. He's just quiet. And that's what you're into? Are you kidding? Quiet guys are hot. Plus, you don't have to worry about them kissing and telling. Call me later. Wow, I guess there really are a lot of benefits to being quiet. We did it, man. We did it, bro. Woo! <laughs> I'm so excited. It's great. Oh, I'm so, I'm so proud. Oh, yes. Thanks, Ames. I'm gonna miss you so much next year, though. Oh, me too. But hey. San Diego is just a few hours away, okay? We still gonna see each other all the time. You promise? Of course, you my girl, all right? I'll come up here and you'll visit me down there. We got fall break, winter break, summer break. <laughs> Baby, you gonna be sick of me. 
I don't think that's possible. <laughs> I'll be okay. Hey, you love birds. Let's take a picture. Yeah. Let's go. We did it! We finally I did know. it! <laughs> Four years down, four more to go. I am so stoked we're going to UCSD together. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> hey, you guys want a group photo? Maybe. Yeah. 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 Hey, guys. Yeah? Give me the photo. Come on, gang, get together. One big family, huh? Here we are. One, two, three. Oh. Hey. That's beautiful. <laughs> we should get a picture of just the seniors. Do you mind? Uh, no, not at all. Okay, hey, college on three. Are you ready? Yeah. Right. One, two, three. College! <laughs> yeah, your parents are gonna love this. Look at this. Oh, that's Ooh. good. You saw that? Yeah. yeah. I really admire how you're handling things. Handling what things? Oh, just with David going to college. If he was my boyfriend, I'd be super paranoid that he would. Uh, never mind. No, tell me. With what? That he would cheat on me. With some random college chick. David... cheat? <laughs> no. No, he'd never do anything like that. We're gonna be together forever. <laughs> forever. I'm not worried about him at all. Well, that's great. I would hate to see what happened to Jamie happen to you. Well, what happened to Jamie? You didn't hear? When he went to college, she was still in her senior year. It didn't even take a week for him to be with another girl. What? So that's why they broke up? Yeah. He sent a selfie to her in bed. Little did he know, it was a live photo. Jamie saw another girl jump in right after. Oh my gosh. Jamie really trusted him. And she still got her heart broken. Oh, so sad. That is funny. Y'all see that? Oh, that's so good. good job. I guess I'm just trying to say, be careful. No one thinks they're going to be cheated on. Man, that's so good. Woo. We did it. We did it. How you guys feel? Hey, Dave. Yeah, baby. Can I talk to you for a sec? Yeah, sure. What's up? Would you ever, I don't know, cheat on me? Come on, you, no, you, you know I'd never do that. Are you sure? Okay, listen. If we don't have trust, then I mean, we, we don't really have anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry I asked about him. That's okay. Hey, I love you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> now you ready to go back to this party? <laughs> yeah. All right, come on. through high school without you by my side. Hey, I'll be there whenever you need me. I know you will. Oh, before I forget, uh, here is your key. <laughs> Keep it. That one's yours. I got my own. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. oh. How cool is it that we live just a few doors down from each other? I know, it's gonna be great. <laughs> I didn't know you were here. <laughs> Hi, Amy. Hi. <laughs> Are you going to the rec hall? There's gonna be a little mixer. Uh, oh, uh, that sounds cool. Yeah, you wanna go? It's only for incoming college students, not high schoolers. Sorry. Oh, shoot, okay, you know, I'm, I don't even need to go then. Are you sure? No pressure, but everybody in the building is going. Oh, they are? You know what? Tara's right. I mean, you should go. I don't want to hold you back. I don't want to leave you here all by yourself, though. It's fine. I promise. I was already going to leave after finishing unpacking. You're the best. Ew! 
Oh, you can do that later. We're gonna be late. Oh. Bye. Hi, beautiful. What are you up to? Not much. Just thinking about you. <laughs> doing some homework. I can't believe half of the school year is already over. I know. It's crazy. But hey, hopefully you get into UCSD and we can be together in the fall. <laughs> That's the goal. Oh, my prom dress just came in from the tailor. Check it out. What do you think? <laughs> wow. I think you're going to look beautiful in it. Oh, you're sweet. Oh, I also got you a tie and pocket square to match me. <laughs> so what time are you coming tomorrow? Um, dude, there's a huge house party in La Jolla tonight. Let's go. I'm going to pass. I'm, I'm talking to Amy. Come on, dude. This is supposed to be the party of the year. I know. I, I just, I don't want to leave her hanging, you know? Hey, hey, it's okay. You can go if you want to. No, but I, I promised you we'd FaceTime date tonight. It's not a big deal. I mean, we'll be seeing each other all weekend. Go, have fun. Okay, thanks, babe. How'd I get so lucky? Are you coming to the party? Uh, yeah, just give me a sec. Who's that? Oh, uh, it's, it's Tara, she's also going to Is that Amy? Let me talk to her. Hey, I'm really sorry, but David's gotta go. He'll call you back later, okay? Oh, um, have fun with your homework. What? Why, why would you do that? I was talking to her. Call your little high school girlfriend later. Come on. Let's go have some fun. No, no. I need to call her back now. <laughs> you are so lame. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Message oh, system. Voicemail. You shouldn't have hung up like that. It's fine, she'll get over it. Let's go, man. Okay, hold on, just let, let me send her a text. Man, my phone's about to die. Someone will have a charger at the party. Come on, let's uh, go. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <sighs> Woo! <laughs> Ugh. Are you gonna be on your phone the whole night? She hasn't texted me back yet. I shouldn't have come here. I'm gonna find the bathroom. I'll be back. Stop! You're at a party. Can you just have some fun? You don't understand. She always texts me back, like right away. This isn't like her. It's fine. She probably went to sleep. I mean, it is past her bedtime. <laughs> I know something's up. I'm gonna call her. What? What? Uh, my phone just died. God, then you can finally put that thing away. Would you mind if I just use yours? Thank you. On one condition. What? Dance with me first. No, I don't want to. Oh, come on, don't be such a party pooper. Can you at least pretend you're having fun for five seconds while I story? Then you can go back to being miserable. All right, fine. Woo, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! King Kong undefeated champ. Everybody loves the winner. Oh Everybody my god, loves losers! <laughs> Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. Woo! <laughs> All right, I, I did what you asked. Can I please see your phone? Oh, let me think. Uh... Come on, Tara. Amy must be worried. 
Look, let me see your phone or I'm gonna just head back to the dorms. Fine. Sheesh, here. Thank you. Okay. Hey, I got you guys some drinks. Hey. No thanks, homie. I'm about to go talk to Ames. Wait. Let's have a drink first. Then you can call her. Look, I'm not doing this with you, Tara. Can I please see your phone? After this. Ooh. Bro, can I please see your phone? Yeah, sure. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna just step outside and I'll be right back. Wait, at least cheers me before you go and take a picture of us for the memories. I already told you, I'm not drinking. You don't have to drink, just hold it. Three. Smile. Two. One. <laughs> Why would you do that? Relax, it's just a peck on the cheek. Hello? Hey, hey, it's me. Okay, I am so happy you're still up. Look, I am so sorry about- How could you do this to me? Do what to you? Are you kidding? I just saw the photo of Tara kissing you. Photo? How did... Okay, Ames? You need to trust me. It is not what it- Trust you? I'm gonna trust you after what I just saw? Okay, okay, okay. Listen, listen to me. It is not what it looks like. Tara and I are just friends, I swear. Oh yeah? Because based on what I'm looking at, it looks pretty clear to me that you two are more than that. Baby, please. Don't call me that, I'm not your baby. God, I can't believe I ever trusted you. I promise, I can explain. Just look, just give me a... No, no I'm done. <laughs> just forget about prom, forget about us. I never wanna see you again. Wait, no, 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 please, I... Oh, wait, no. Your call has been forwarded. <laughs> alone right now. Can you please leave me alone? Oh, honey, you can't just stay in bed all day. I think you should still go to prom. I told you I'm not going. I'm not in the mood. <sighs> okay. Well, this might cheer you up. It's from UC San Diego. I don't care. But even if I got in, I'm not going. I don't want to be anywhere near David or Tara. Well, have you tried talking to him? There's nothing to talk about. I saw what I saw. Sometimes there's more to photos than what we see. I'll go get that. James, please, just, just hear me out. Just leave. Just give me two minutes to explain. And if, if you still hate me after that, I promise I'll leave you alone forever. Honey, I think you should hear him out. Fine. Two minutes. That's it. Okay. 
Thank you. First off, I want you to know I would never cheat on you. I love you. Right. More like you love Tara. No. No, not at all. I, look, I thought she was my friend. But now I realize she's just been trying to break us up. And I'm sorry, I didn't see that before. But I, I swear to you, nothing happened. Right. Then how do you explain this? I, I didn't, I never kissed her. She kissed me. Look at the big smile on your face. Certain didn't seem like you had a problem with it. And who knows what happened between you guys after? What happened is I was pissed. I just, I wish you were there. You could have seen it for yourself. Right. So is this before or after you two were dancing so happily on her story? It wasn't like that at all. And look, look, luckily I have proof. I, I found this on someone's story. You can, you can clearly see. I just danced for that story. I promise you, I, I wasn't even dancing or having fun for what more than two seconds. Then why would she kiss you? I don't know. I can't explain that. I just, I need you to trust me. Nothing happened. I can't do that anymore. Actually, your two minutes are up. You need to leave. Oh, please, you have to believe me. I don't, if you don't mind. Thanks. Go, now. done something wrong. I could understand and would have no problem walking away. But what makes this even more painful is, is that I know deep in my heart I didn't do anything. I just wish there was a way to prove that to you. You know what the most ironic part about this is? Tara tried to warn me this would happen. She said Jamie's boyfriend did the same thing. Did what? Cheated on her. I, I didn't cheat. Right. You don't think Jamie's boyfriend said the same thing? Probably would have gotten away with it too if he hadn't sent her a live photo with another girl in it. Live photo? Wait. Let, let me see your phone. For what? Just trust me. Okay, or don't trust me. Just, can I see that? Okay, look, look. I didn't even know she was gonna do that. And I was pissed after that. Oh my gosh. I told you. So, nothing happened between you guys? No. No, not at all. Look, I haven't even talked to Tara ever since. And I promise you, I never plan on talking to her again. I'm just still in shock. And I'm so sorry for not believing you. It's okay. I mean, honestly, I guess anyone would have thought the same thing if they were in your shoes. But you were right. If we don't have trust, we don't have anything. I see that now, and, and I'm so sorry. Like, I feel awful. I was so mean to you, and it wasn't really fair to you because I, I didn't know. Hey, 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 hey. It's okay. Listen. We can talk about this later, but for right now, 
I need you to hurry up and get ready. We got prom to get to. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, a letter from UCSD came in, but I haven't read it yet. Wait, what? Well, what are you waiting for? Open it! Okay, okay. <laughs> We are pleased to inform you that your application to UC San Diego has been accepted! <laughs> oh my gosh, I get it! I got in! I believe! Oh, I knew you would. Oh, oh I am so proud of you. Thanks. I'm really gonna be inseparable. I hope you don't get sick of me. Come on, not a chance. <laughs> So, how do I look? Wow. You look stunning. Thanks. Let's take a picture. Okay. You're gonna have to take it. Yeah, I got you. Guys, I already told you, I don't want to do anything for my birthday this year, but thank you. Uh, come on, you always go all out for us. Yeah, remember the surprise party Austin threw for Jesse when he gave her like 20 gifts? It wasn't exactly a surprise party because I saw you in the parking lot. Yeah, yeah that, that happened. Um, sorry bro, I'm not, I'm not good with surprises, really. Hey, hey, it was still fun though, right? Everybody felt yeah, great, yeah. everybody looked great. Jesse looked super cute that night. You think my sister is cute? Uh, um, uh, ha, ha. I meant her uh, outfit looked super cute, you know, cause um, she was wearing that uh, velvety black dress and that she had the purple coat, right? Yeah. Um, oh, oh, don't even get me started on those boots. I mean, where do you even find those? That was four months ago. How do you remember what she was wearing? Um, it's late. Oh, yeah. Um, I think, yeah, I gotta go do the thing. So I'm gonna go. Um, Wait, uh, did you park in the lot? No. Um, I had to park a couple blocks away because there weren't any spots left. It's dark. You shouldn't go alone. I'll walk you. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. You are gonna walk him? Guys are supposed to protect the girls. It's not the other way around. <laughs> Please, I am a lot tougher than Ken. A bad guy would be more scared of me than him. She's got a point. Fine, just be quick. I'll be waiting. Relax, Austin. <laughs> Sheesh, you don't always have to be so overprotective. I'm your older brother. Of course I do. I know what's best for you. Okay. <laughs> Let's go, Ken. Yep. Later, Drew. Later, Ken. Yep. I think my sister and Ken have something going on. Really? Hey, bro, no, that's, it's not possible, bro. It looks pretty obvious to me. I guess there's only one way to find out. And that is? You are going to spy on her. What? No, no way, bro. Look, I'm not, I'm not spying on Jessie, because Jessie is 20 years old. I mean, she should be allowed to date. And it's kind of wrong to assume she's incapable of, of making, you know, the, the bet. I'll give you a hundred bucks. Yeah, I'll get started tomorrow, bro. <laughs> yeah. So, we're going to dinner tonight and I know it's gonna be special. <laughs> I wanna get him a nice gift. Have I told Austin? <laughs> Yeah, right. You know how my brother is. 
He'd kill me if he found out. Okay, all right, following. Help you find anything? Yeah. I'm trying to buy something for a guy. Oh, nice. Someone special, I take it? I guess you could say that. <laughs> well, I have something that may work right over here. Do you mind if I show one of these jackets? Great. What do you think of this? Oh, <laughs> I actually really like it. Mm hmm. Oh, do you have a medium? Oh, let me check. You weren't gonna buy this, were you? <clears throat> okay, thanks. <laughs> Here it is. I'll take it. Perfect. Dang. Drew? What are you doing here? Uh. It's open. Sorry, my phone died. So, what happened? Um, she, she bought a men's jacket. Of course she did. It's probably for Ken. Anything else? Mm-hmm. Well, who was that? It sounded like a phone. Is Jesse here? No but it sounded like it came from her room. No, no. Shh, what are you doing? You, you can't go in, Austin. <sighs> Those are tablet. Oh, don't, don't touch that. It, it probably has all her personal stuff on it. Precisely the point. Oh, would you look at that? Ken just texted her. I want to read it, but she probably has a pin. She must have disabled it. Uh, you, you should probably stop. I just, she wouldn't be happy about this. Why do you keep taking your side? Um, no, I'm not taking sides. I'm just saying, look, how would you feel if she went through your messages? I'm the older brother. It's different. All right, let's see what her and Ken have been talking about. So excited for tonight. It's gonna be epic. See you at Giuliani's at six, winky face. Wow, they're totally going on a date tonight. He even put a winky face in everything. No, I don't really think it's a, like a date. Either way, we're gonna find out. Cause guess who's gonna be there to confront them? No. Yes. All right, let's see what else they've been talking about. Jesse's home. Okay. Hide, hide, hide. Okay. Oh, just go. go. <laughs> Wait, wait. You don't even know if anything's going on yet. Just... <laughs> Stop! What the heck? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Austin. <laughs> Happy 
Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> I am so confused. We got you. Yeah, we did. So you two aren't on a date? <laughs> no, no, not, not at all. Wait, but you walked him to his car. Yeah, to finalize your birthday plans, nothing else. But you, you even bought him a gift. Oh, you mean the one I got you? Yeah, we went to the store together to get your present. Happy birthday. <laughs> the jacket. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, but wait, how did you guys know I was gonna be here? You think I don't know you well enough by now? I left out the bait and you fell for it. Why else would I disable my pin? Yeah, we knew you'd probably get suspicious and then go through everything and follow us around. <laughs> or make Drew follow us around. You told them? No, he didn't. But we caught him spying on us at the store. Yeah, it was pretty obvious. <laughs> but we made him promise not to tell you anything and to just keep playing along. I mean, I would have told Drew sooner, but he doesn't know how to keep a secret. <laughs> Do you, Drew? No, yeah, you're right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I'm still in shock. I can't believe you guys actually pulled this off. But um, hey, this cake is looking pretty good, so let's dig in, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Before you do that, do you have anything you want to say? Uh, yes, I'm glad that you two aren't dating. <laughs> Me too. Anything else? Uh, nope, that's it. Eat the cake. What about going through my tablet? Or, you know, paying Drew to spy on us? Okay. Maybe I was being a little too overprotective. I'm sorry. Thank you. So, you're gonna be okay with me dating? Austin. It's not gonna be easy, but I promise I will try my best. That's great. Because even though I'm not dating Ken. Thanks. I am dating Drew. What? No. I tried to tell you there's no way she could be dating Ken. You little... Stop! Girl. Before you do or say anything, remember what you just promised. I'm gonna... Austin! Show... What? You promised! You promised. Fine. Thank you. Now we can eat some cake. No. Uh, before we do that, why would you help me spy on Ken if you were dating her the whole time? <clears throat> well, that's just because I needed some money to get you a birthday present. So here you go. Oh. That's really cool. Money. Yeah, it's your hundred dollars. Well, almost. Happy birthday, man. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, babe. <laughs> babe? Um. Not in front of me. Don't do that. Take your arm off. Well, um, what about this? No, hey! Don't! Drew! I told you! What are you? You're done! Stay right there. Nope. Stay right there. Don't move! Don't move! 20 years ago, you gave me a free haircut. I don't have much money. My house burned down. I lost everything. I'm not worried about your money. I want you to get cleaned up. And if you can do it today, with that, I will give you a job. When you're able to, pay it forward. This is your kindness. Coming back to you. 